children now see the workbook part that is the lesson number 10 places in my neighborhood so here now we have the first one answer the following questions that is conceptual understanding first question where would you go to buy grocery where would you go to buy grocery and other provisions children usually we buy these groceries like uh, the rice vegetables and other uh, uh, things that you require in your home where children we go to the we go to market where do you go we go to market to buy groceries and other provisions a market attracts buyers and sellers too. Buyers means the people who give money and buy. Sellers means the people who take the money and sell. So this market attracts buyers and sellers too. So here once again I repeat. We go to market to buy groceries and other provisions. Okay. A market attracts buyers and sellers too. Second question. Where do you go when you are sick? So when you feel sick, where do you go children? Yes. We go to the hospital when we fall sick. We go to the hospital when we fall sick. There the doctor will be there and compounder and nurse will be there. They give the treatment. Third question. Who will take care of the patient? in the hospital who will take care children the doctors and nurses in the hospital take care of the parents sorry patients in the hospital the doctors and nurses in the hospital take care of the patients in the hospital okay so now see the fourth question who put out the fire when there is a fire accident See, when there is a fire accident, who put out the fire children? The fireman put out the fire when there is a fire accident. The fireman comes in a fire van and that fire van consists of large ladders and the water hose pipes to stop the fire. Who help us in maintaining law and order? Obviously, the policemen help us in maintaining law and order in our society. Law and order and uh, thefts and robberies and crime, they will stop. So, the policemen help us in maintaining law and order in our society. Okay. Children, now the second bit. Right, yes or no for the following statements. This comes under hot questions. Hot means higher order thinking questions. First one, we can buy many things at the market. Yes or no? Yes, we can buy vegetables, fruits, anything. Many things from the market. Yes, the statement is yes. Second one, we go to police station when we are sick. Is that right, children? Do we go to police station? No, we go to hospital. So, the statement is false. I wrote no. Third one, the police protects us from thieves. Yes or no? Police protect, protect us from thieves and robberies. Okay. So, that is yes. A hospital consists of several wards. Yes or no? Hospital consists of several wards. Yes. A railway station is a place for buses, children. Is that right? No, bus station is a place for buses. Then railway station is a place for trains. So the statement is no. So first one yes, second one no, third one yes, fourth one yes, fifth one no. Okay. Children now see, tick the things you can get in your neighborhood market. So that means near your house, what are the things that you will get? Okay, you have to tick here. For example, if you'll get milk means you can tick like this. Okay. If you get pencils, you will get chairs, you will get vegetables, you will get tigers, you will get cloths, you will get rice. Okay. If you'll get a, a rice, if you'll get aeroplanes, if you'll get shoes. Okay. So which are the items that are available in your nearby market? You have to tick a right mark, which are not available, you can leave like that. Or you can keep cross mark. For example, tigers are not available. You can keep cross mark like this. 
okay vegetables are available you can keep right mark like this okay till now say it is day for people who live around your house are known as your neighbors so the people who live around your house like uh, uh, your friends it might be your relatives okay what do they do? what find out what they do and fill in the table given below take the help of your parents so the people who keep, who stay nearby you are called your neighbors and you just inquire them and ask them what they do and fill in the following table for this you have to take your parents help so serial number for example one your neighbor's name ramesh occupation teacher total members four you can write their phone number okay right here see next one suresh occupation neighbor's name serial number two neighbor's name suresh occupation farmer total members three and write their phone number like this you have to go and ask your that your neighbors and what they do they i mean if they do business you can write business if they are uh, in the house if they stay you can write house uh, like for example any lady is there you can write housewife okay if they do any job you can uh, write the job name also for this okay you have to take the help of your parents understand okay children now see take page number 50 is communication so there is a picture see children the picture so now what do you see in the picture write about it so you have to write so there is a teacher teaching math okay multiplication and there are the children so what is this atmosphere you have to write that and next one is time to do take page number 51 that is a project so that is time to do so project work take page number 51 learn the phone numbers of the following take the help of your parents in collecting the phone numbers so that is first one is nearest hospital what is the first one children nearest hospital and uh, collect the phone number okay you are small children now they won't give take the help of your parents for collecting this number and learn these phone numbers also like tables you will learn no like that nearest doctor nearest fire station your residence ambulance all these are very very important when you are in danger or when you are in emergency hospital doctor fire station residence ambulance right you have to collect the numbers okay and you have to learn now life skills is there medical treatment has become very expensive expensive means very cost hence we must always take good care of our health always remember so that is what so called as prevention what is the children prevention is better than cure so preventing from the disease is better than going for the hospital and uh, uh, making expenses which is very cost in these days and suffering from the health problems yes or no so you should be protected from the disease by preventing by maintaining the hygienic conditions by taking daily bath by washing your clothes by brushing your teeth daily two times at least yes or no so so that we can by maintaining the cleanliness not only with you with your house members also okay right children so this is the end of the workbook part that is uh, our lesson number 10 places in my neighborhood thank you